the nerd here and I'm gonna make sure I turn off my desktop audio before I continue on excellent hopefully this thing is picking up I know I had a problem last week in which um I lost audio for a little bit sorry guys um that sucked which mean meant I couldn't use my good audio from a pack battle and that was really bad anyway so you guys are probably wondering well where did all the videos go uh, basically what happened was I'm out of money uh, I don't start working till Monday, and today is, uh, the day before I post this was is day, October the 5th, so I don't actually start working till Monday, I thought I was going to start working tomorrow on the 6th, didn't happen, um, fortunately I will have a job as of Monday, and unfortunately I'm going to be missing out a lot of the uh, new packages, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is, so I'm going to have to make do. Either way, in the meantime, I still have a little bit of product left to open, and I got some, I got that Warhammer box set that I bought a few weeks ago. I'm going to be unboxing that for you guys this week, so you guys will definitely be seeing it probably Sunday. Um, this will probably be going up tomorrow, Friday, so you'll be seeing that then. So if you want to see some cool Warhammer-related stuff, I'll be having that up on Saturday, as well as hopefully soon I'll be getting up more of those other videos I've been promising. I'm just kind of waiting on a few things. So either way, today is going to be another in my um, uh, profit or loss series. Uh, last time I did pretty good. I made $36 out of a $20 investment. That is a $16 profit. That was pretty darn good. Um, unfortunately, one thing, a couple things go are going against me today. Now, both of these were $10 boxes. I bought for $10 off of Amazon. They were a good deal. But um, one, bulk prices have crashed. When I did that one a few weeks ago, bulk was still at five cents per common uncommon now it's down to three cents so that's going to make things harder two this size or just isn't worth anything those two ex cards i had in those tens they were worth 750 and 650 each i think a dollar that's what this is going for is a dollar it's not that good of a card uh it doesn't really see much play in competitive so it's not that great it's cool but it isn't that great. So either way, we're going to be opening these up, though. Hopefully there are some cards in each, any of these packs. we got two of these boxes that could definitely make up for it. I hope we do. Probably aren't, but it's still going to be a pretty cool opening, and I'm very, very happy to um, be able to have this up for you guys. I might actually do a, um update video just to kind of give you a, uh, you know, a heads up on everything so you guys know exactly what's going on in my life so you know that I'm not disappearing like some people do. I just am just in a bad situation right now and I promise by definitely by the end of the year I will be caught up and there will be videos <laughs> three to five openings a week for sure again so either way let's open this thing up and um, I'm going to be adding the value of the codes which aren't a lot for this even though I'm going to be giving away the codes for the Sizor promo in the video um, you know just because I mean it's worth something right and it's mostly just me wanting to give you guys something. So I will be giving away one of them right before I open the packs. And then the other one will be opened up or will be given away uh, sometime during the opening. I don't know where, if I can remember, if I can get this thing out of here. Wow, that is bad. I don't know if that was my fault or what, but look at that. That is horrible. That is unacceptable. Wow. I, I don't think I did that, so, but either way, I already have one, so it's not that big of a deal, but that's, that's disappointing. Let's open up the other one. Uh, that's another problem with these boxes that Pokemon's been doing, and it's a bit of a big problem that, uh, like, I mean, all these boxes are cool, they're a lot of fun to open, but they're just basically killing the value of the cards. And uh, I'll be pulling out one of those so you guys can look at the jumbo size in case you haven't seen it yet. But um, I'm sure plenty of you have. I've opened this box set before uh, on this channel, which I believe I was before I moved into this particular house. So, and um, I don't even know how to get this out of here without ruining this card. So, oh, there it goes. This one, still a little bit of damage. I think a lot of that just has, has to be doing with the fact that it's been in the box for a while. This is awful. Like, this is just unacceptable. 
And I'm just not happy with what Pokemon's been doing with the quality of the cards. And there is the Jumbo, in case you care. And, uh, yeah, close-up look at the promo card itself. It's not really a promo, it's just a straight-up <laughs> straight reprint from uh, Breakpoint, I think. Or is that... Yeah, I think that's Breakpoint. So, either way, the big draw here, however, is not... Oh, my God. See, I'm, like, getting out of practice already. It is not the uh, promo cards, but all the cool packs. And for $10 for four packs was a really good deal, so I could not turn that down for sure. And I am missing... Yes, I dropped an evolution pack down there. Ah, awesome. Anyways, and before we open, there is a Sizor EX box code for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Well, I mean, I know what you got, but just let me know. I'd like to hear. You know, you guys never tell me what it is, and I want to know. And we are going to do this in chronological order, as always. So we're going to be starting off with Fates Collide. And I like how this turned out, because there's an exact even amount of each ones. Two Fates Collide, two Steam Siege, two Evolutions, and two Sun and Moon Base. And I am very, very excited to be opening these, because there are a lot of good cards in these sets. And hopefully, we get something good out of them. So, either way, nerds, let's see, let's get that, oh, wrong way. Okay, so these were that way, so there you go. So we already know that that is a green code card, so uh, here's to hoping we get something decent, but no expectations, we can still get a break. So, you know, and that there's a number of pretty, I don't know if there's any playable trainers in this set, actually. Uh, yes, actually, yeah, there is N in this set, so that'd be a pretty cool card to pull. I pulled a... Uh, Reverse Hollow End uh, last week. Last time I done these, so there we go. Omnite, last of special, so no N. Solosis, Gothita, Minchino, Whismer, Finnegan, Spoink. And I'm seriously, these card quality is just not there. And a Kabutops regular rare, so nothing good in that pack. So let's see if we can get something decent out of this pack. I'm certainly hoping for something decent. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Uh, oh, and here I am, just... Uh, nothing good in this pack either. I just spoiled myself. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, my God, this is going to be a bad, bad opening, isn't it? All right, Kangaskhan, Duosion, uh, Mega Catcher. I don't know if that that's worth anything at all. No, it's not. So, uh, Riolu, Jigglypuff, Meowth. Oh, my goodness. Binacle, Snubble, two spoinks in a row, and the rare is just a barbacle. Regular rare, so we're not doing so hot so far. Oh my god, this is not... Oh my god, like, I don't have enough packs. I barely have any packs left open, and I'm going to get a bad pull. Awesome. Awesome. That's just how it is. Well, maybe that's because all my luck's going to be in the pack battle, which is going to be tomorrow against Sketchy Smeargle. So I'm pretty excited to be going up against him. It will be my first pack battle against him, which will be pretty neato, and we will be using Steam Siege. So let's see. And uh, okay, so I didn't see the code card, so that's good. I'm going to keep you over there. Starting with Greedy Dice, Driftblum, Fletchender. Uh, Green would be good in this one because I could still get that Xerneas break that I've been wanting so very much. Clink, Joltic, Ponyard, and nope, we don't got it. Fungus, Rufflet, Fungus again, and our rare is just a Gavantula. Oh my god, we're just not doing... Oh my god, we're almost halfway through this opening and I haven't pulled a... Not even a hollow. Oh my god. Is this even real? Come on. Oh, open for once. Jesus. Ugh. That feels when the package won't even open. One, two, and three to the front. Like I said, I don't need any ultra rares or secret rares or anything like that. I just want that Xerneas Drift Bloom. Guard of our Spirit Link, a good card. Uh, Deal Watch. Shellos. Mankey. Fungus. Bergmite. Joltic Greedy Dice Reverse. And our rare is an Amoongus. So four packs, nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. All right, so we got... So we got four packs left, and the uh, evolutions has got to be a, got to be a bro. I mean, like it's, come on, <laughs> come on. 
Uh, evolutions, come on, show me that. You know what, I still need a, I think I still need the Mega Venusaur from this set, like the regular one. Yeah, I still need the regular uh, Mega Venusaur EX, I think. And actually, I think, I don't think I have Venusaur EX from this set. So let's see if we can get that one, two and three to the front. And let's start, we're starting off with a maintenance uh, switch, Magbar, Zoduo, Staryu, Seal, Charmander, Magnemite, or versus a Weedle, and our rare is a freaking Electrode. All right. Okay, so we got three packs left. We got one Evolutions. And we got two Sun Moon. I mean, oh my god, I better get like that Ultra Ball or something because this is just unacceptable. And I am so sorry, guys. Well. Wow. Sorry. All right, so we got ourselves a Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint, uh, Coughing, Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, looking very cute. I do love the art on this set, like no matter what. Growlithe, Reverse A, that is a hit as far as I'm concerned. Reverse her energy and a freaking... <sighs> freaking Mewtwo. Okay, so we're down to Sun and Moon. And Sun and Moon is by far one of the hardest sets to pull anything from, so I can't wait to just just suck at this. Oh my god, this is going to be a complete dud, isn't it? There's just going to be nothing. <laughs> guys, hold on. You guys got you got, you got to pray to the Poke Gods for old gas because she can't pull anything. <laughs> oh my god, and I can't open the pack because I'm too frustrated. Oh my god, I swear to god, sometimes these packs are just sealed tight with like super glue or something so anyways one two and three to the front nope we got four to the front all right guess the energy game we're gonna go with fire oh steel all right so nest ball rotom decks charge bug growlithe surskit fomantis morlal sandy ghast lilypup and a Rockshifts. <sighs> like, I'm not even happy with that energy anymore. Like, this, this is ridiculous. Seven packs. Seven packs and not one hollow or better. This has got to be one of the worst openings I've ever had. Oh, my God. God, I hope this does not carry over into my... um my pack battle for tomorrow because I'm going to be upset. Like, I can't even... I got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that a freaking brawler? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to set the code card aside, and we're just going to... Oh, my God. We're just going to have to pray. Let's see. Guess the energy game is going to be water. No darkness. All right. So, Poliwhirl, Nest Ball, Araquan Head, Brawler, Drowsy, Grubbin, Firo, Makuhita, Risa Prescui, at least that's a playable card, and the rare is a Harkonine holographic, so. <laughs> you know, as much as I love that Arcanine one, I pulled a couple of them. Secondly, I can't. Eight packs, twenty dollars, and what do we get? Two banged up promo cards, and one admittedly cool looking holographic card. That is just that's just unacceptable. I mean, I know that's like no one's fault. It's just the nature of these boxes. But oh my god, I've had some good luck, and I've had like those tens were so lit. Oh my god. Anyways, nerds, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching me cry in pain as I open what has to be the worst pack opening in my channel's history in terms of total packs and not getting anything. Like, I... Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, nerds, let me know in the comment section down what your favorite pull of today was. Like, I mean, 
obviously it's the Arcanine. I mean, no matter how bad a pull is, that's still a cool pull to get, though. I cannot speak English. So let me know in the comment section down below, and leave a comment and subscribe if you have not, and hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever you can see me cry on camera because I can't get good pulls. And be sure to check me out on social media. Go down in the description below. I can be found on Twitter at Jedi underscore Cast, and on Facebook at Cast the Nerd, and I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next video. Later, nerd. Oh, almost forgot this.